Welcome to the my-moo.com podcast. My-moo.com is your source for information on James Churchward and his theories of the lost continent of Moo. Podcast 15, Genetics and the Lost Continent of Mu. I ran across a YouTube video in the recent past that took a pretty hardline stance against James Churchward's theories and credited his family's website for proving that Mu was 100% false. This video podcast is in response to that specific presentation, which has since been taken down. Let me first reiterate that although I have researched some aspects of James Churchward's theories, despite the accusation, I have not yet reached the conclusion that Mu is 100% false. I will repeat what I have said in the past, and that is, I will strive to prepare and present factual information, engage in interactive dialogue and discussion, rigorously defend the defendable, and quickly denounce the absurd in the exploration of the life and times of James Churchward and his theories about a lost continent in the Pacific Ocean that he named Mu. Allow me to further reiterate, neither I nor any member of my family receive any financial consideration for the publication of James' books, and that my participation in researching the life and theories of my great-grandfather is conducted in my spare time. I am not paid by any person or organization to conduct this research. Well, subsequent communications have diffused the situation. I did agree to present a comparison of James' theory about Mu being the motherland of man versus the current scientific theory tracing our human migration from Africa. I believe that if someone does not trust the results of scientific study in academia, then no amount of data will convince that someone to change their mind. On the other hand, if there is no plausible explanation to automatically reject it, then perhaps the scientists got it right this one time. I had no idea that anyone was teaching about Mu in front of audiences, but a quick online search provided some examples. The following video excerpt is from someone who espouses this theory. debating whether the Nile Valley civilization was the mother civilization. No, it was not. You are not ready. So, in a few words, what did James postulate as the location of the birthplace of humanity? First, James tells us on the first page of his 1927 book, Lost Continent of Mu, Motherland of Man, the Garden of Eden was not in Asia but on a now sunken continent in the Pacific Ocean. The biblical story of creation, the epic of the seven days and seven nights, came first not from the people of the Nile or of the Euphrates Valley, but from this now submerged continent, Mu, the motherland of man. These assertions can be proved by the complex records, which I discovered upon long-forgotten sacred tablets in India, together with records from other countries. In the 1931 book, Children of Mu, James takes a deep dive into a discourse about the migrations of humans from Mu, and on page 99 provides a map of the migrations of what he identifies as the Negroid and Carrion races. So what does science say about where humans originated? Humans have experience with genetics, just look at the 15,000-year-old tradition of breeding dogs. Starting from the wolf, humankind has created 226 different breeds that the American Kennel Club recognizes. In the 19th century, Gregor Mendel's studies with pea plants provided a clearer understanding and mathematical models to use. In 1944, DNA was isolated for the first time and scientists were able to start to look at the underlying mechanism that passed along inherited characteristics. Testing and comparing mitochondrial DNA has indicated that populations can be traced to geographical locations. Also, looking at the rate of DNA mutation 
has provided an indicator of the age of genes representing human populations. The combined research and study into the human genome from a number of different labs and individuals has provided us with evidence that humankind originated in Africa. The maps are representations of the migrations of human beings over tens of thousands of years from the study of the human genome. The out of Africa theory bolstered by this genetic evidence appears to me to be more credible. One sometimes overlooked facet of the debate about Mu is that the lost continent is an outstanding place for the evidence for the creation of the species by the supreme being. James was an ardent creationist and no one should be surprised if his findings further promoted that agenda. These points are mute as evidence for man's development in Africa have been discovered since James first published his books in the mid-1920s. Lucy, the Australopithecus, was found in 1974, 38 years after James died. Whatever further evidence shaping our current understanding of the past was not available to James. The thought that the out-of-Africa theory might be considered conspiratorial is remarkable. How many labs, institutions, and individuals would have to conspire to falsify the data and analysis to make this outcome? Why, or better yet, how, would a group of the most impoverished nations on earth conspire to achieve the goal of recognizing Africa as the motherland of humanity? Let's try to build bridges between people instead of walls. And as always, Thanks for listening, and have a great day. The My-Moo.com podcast will be created on an irregular basis and address the state of the research, post interviews with knowledgeable people, and challenge the status quo to arrive at a more complete understanding of James Churchward and his theory of a lost Pacific Ocean continent. Please check back frequently at My-Moo.com or join our mailing list to keep up to date on our progress and join the discussions. This production, copyright 2010 by Churchward & Company, all rights reserved.